traffic every 10 minutes as we wake up today. It's uh, a little different. We've had a really beautiful week. Mm -hmm. I haven't had to experience all of it. I've got one day of it. <laughs> so I got a little taste, but it's not going to last long, right, Damon? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been great since the weekend, uh, right? right? Lots yeah. of sunshine. Mm -hmm. and the Yesterday, there wasn't really even a cloud in the sky, but yeah. today, yeah. that is all changing. So when can we expect that rain to start making its way through? We know we, we've already got a little bit of it right now. Okay. Uh, the worst of the rainfall is coming, should be landing on the North Shore around 4 or 5 p.m., uh, down here in the south for around 7 p.m. Uh, so your headlines for today: showers and a few storms today, mostly cloudy tomorrow. And here are the here's the best part of the uh, the headlines: a sunny weekend ahead. And that's uh, some great news for all of us. Uh, it's going to be a little bit cold, especially in the morning hours, but overall lots of sunshine. Here's the rain that we've got across the area right now. It is uh, light rainfall for the most part across uh, the North Shore, parts of St. Tammany, Washington Parish, Tangipahoa as well. We've got some light rainfall moving across upper. Um, uh, Plaquemines Parish and into St. Bernard Parish. A lot more rain just off to the west of us as well. And we're going to see uh, this potential or this rainfall increase over the course of uh, today, uh, this afternoon, and tonight. Right now, if you're headed towards uh, Texas or Oklahoma, as you can see, there's a lot more rainfall and some rain turning into snowfall across parts of Oklahoma this morning. And uh, that is what we are going to experience later on today. Not so much so this morning. I think most of the early part of the afternoon is going to be pretty good. But as this low makes its way, across the Gulf of Mexico, we're going to see the rainfall that Texas is experiencing right now. In fact, as I put the model into motion, you won't notice too much uh, activity across the area this morning or most of the afternoon. Here's a picture at 4 p.m. that rain on the north shore, parts of southwest Mississippi, that low makes its way across uh, the northern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, some pretty intense rainfall developing and moving into the area later on in the uh, evening, the early evening hours, and then uh, pretty much all evening long and into the overnight hours. Expect some showers, uh, some thunderstorm activity, some heavy downpours, some strong winds. The potential that we could see a little bit of hail as well. And I guess the best news is that all of this should be to the east of us uh, before we wake up. Uh, tomorrow morning. So around 2 or 3 a.m., we should be pretty much done with the, the worst of the rainfall. The cloud cover sticking around uh, for all of Friday. And uh, this is the picture for your Saturday morning, 6 a.m. Saturday morning, clear skies, cloudy skies to the east of us. That's where the rainfall is as well. And Sunday, I think, is going to be a pretty nice day with probably a few more high cirrus clouds moving across the area for our Sunday. Uh, the rain totals, well, I think in some parts of the area, you could see anywhere from an inch and a half to two and a half inches in all the areas that you see in purple, which includes just about all of southeast Louisiana. So uh, most of us are going to see at least one inch of rainfall. Some of us will see more than that. Right now at the airport, 54 degrees, so mostly cloudy, mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies, 64% humidity outside, the winds out of the east northeast at 10 miles per hour. And here's your hour by hour forecast. Uh, I'm thinking by noontime, we're all somewhere. In the uh, mid to upper 50s, uh, your highs this afternoon for most of us will be in the upper 50s. A couple of spots will hit the low 60s by 6 p.m. with that 70% chance of rainfall at that time. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s. Notice the winds out of the northeast at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. And as you can see, the rain chances go down between today and tomorrow. The weekend is looking pretty fabulous. And the uh, morning low temperatures coming up are back in the 30s. Now with more weather and traffic.